what's going on guys so today I'm coming at you guys with a exercise video about push-ups and how you guys can max out or vastly improve your push-ups for the PT test in this video I'm gonna cover three main exercises that I use whenever I'm trying to max my push-ups as, as much as I possibly can do Personally, using these exercises, I have built my push-ups up just drastically, and they help me so much whenever I'm doing stuff. I've recommended them to people, I've worked out with other people, and just these three principles, this one major exercise combination, uh, just all these things, these things combined together will help you guys out a lot. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the main exercise of this video, which is the diamond grip push-up the close grip push-up and the wide grip push-ups for time, well not really necessarily time, but for your maximum amount of reps, time intervals, so short time intervals, and repeating that three times. So what I'm talking about is, what you're gonna be doing is three sets of this circuit. So you're gonna start by doing diamond push-ups and you're gonna do as many as you can. You're gonna do as many diamond push-ups as you can, whether that's five or 10 or 20 or 40 or 50. You're gonna do as many diamond push-ups as you can. Once you finish those diamond push-ups, you are going to take a 30 second break, okay? You're gonna take a 30 second break. Once you finish those diamond push-ups, you take that 30 second break. Immediately after those 30 seconds, you are going to immediately go into the close grip push-up, okay? and you're gonna to continue to max that out. You're gonna to continue to do as many reps as possible of the close grip push-ups. After you finish that, you're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Once you rest for 30 seconds, you're going to go to a wider than normal grip. Most people, when they're doing push-ups, they're just, their hands are just outside of their shoulder width. I want you to go wide, like really wide to where you're mainly going to be hitting your chest. You're mainly gonna be working your chest muscle here. So focus on those wide grip push-ups because that's really gonna help you guys squeeze out those final few reps. Now, you're gonna repeat that all three times. So once you finish that first set, you finish the diamond, you finish the close grip, you finish the really wide grip push-ups, you're gonna rest for one minute and you're gonna repeat the whole process twice. Same exact thing you're gonna repeat it twice. Now I already know what some of you guys are saying. You're like, Matt, I, I can't do diamond push-ups. I can't do all these push-ups. I'm only gonna be doing like three or four at a time. Like, this isn't gonna help me. This will work for you if you do the variations or you do it to your maximum potential, right? So the variation for this is going to be doing push-ups on your knees and having your hands farther apart. So for the diamond push-up, if you can't do diamond push-ups, if you can maybe do one, then I would say to number one, first start off by widening your hands just a little bit so they're inside of your shoulder width, right? That's gonna make the, the diamond push-up a little bit easier even though technically it's not a diamond push-up anymore. If you still can't do a bunch of those or a few of those, then you're gonna wanna do push-ups on your knees. Now, I know there's like this big thing, like, oh, I don't wanna do push-ups on my knees, those are girl push-ups, like, oh my gosh, like, who wants to do push-ups on the knees? It's not manly, you're not gonna increase anything, you're not gonna get better at push-ups. That's totally wrong, totally false. Even in the Army, when you guys get to basic training, when you do push-ups for PT in the morning, you're gonna be maxing out their push-ups. So they're gonna have you do two minutes of push-ups as much as you can, right? Once you can't do any more push-ups, they tell you to go down to your knees and keep on pushing, right? So if you cannot do the as many push-ups as you would like to do on your feet and your hands, then drop down to your knees and do this exact same exercise on your hands and your knees, right? Same exact thing, work on that. Once you get to a comfortable number, like okay, I can do 10 diamond push-ups on my hands and my knees, now I'm gonna try and start working out on my hands and my feet. Once you can do that, you can progress and can you can continue to progress and progress and progress, and then eventually before you know it, you guys are gonna be maxing out the push-ups on PT test, piece of cake. The next big exercise for you guys to work on is doing push-ups for time. So what I'm saying here is, in a 60 second window, how many push-ups you can do. You're gonna to wanna to do this particular exercise at least once a week, preferably at least three times a week, as well as with the previous exercise. You need to be doing that 
three, four, five times a week, just as much as you possibly can, depending on where your soreness level is at, depending on where your fitness level is at, you're gonna be doing it, I'd say three to five times a week, right? But for the 60 seconds of push-ups, the reason you're gonna be doing this is you gotta know where you're at, okay? You gotta know where you're at as far as push-ups for the PT test goes, because you have two minutes to do as many push-ups as you can. Now, you might ask me, why, are my, why am I only doing one minute of push-ups whenever the PT test is two minutes of push-ups? Well, the reason for that is I know a lot of people are going to be sore, you're gonna be hurting, and if you do two minutes of push-ups and you literally give it your all, you literally go until you collapse, you cannot do any more push-ups in those two minutes, you're gonna be sore the next day, right? You're going to be sore, but if you do one minute of push-ups, you do them as much as you possibly can, you're probably not going to reach that maximum, I just can't do it anymore in one minute. You're not gonna reach that level of fatigue. And the thing that's good about that is you're, you're gonna be able to do that again the next day. So you can test yourself again the next day and you're not gonna be so sore. Maybe you're just a little bit sore and you wanna do it anyways. That's what I do. Whether I'm sore or not, I still do these exercises because they will still benefit me. And then eventually after like a couple weeks, your body is just used to it, right? So after doing those 60 seconds of push-ups, you're gonna be not fully fatigued. You are again, not fully fatigued. But you're gonna be wanting to do two minutes of push-ups. And the way this kind of correlates is with all of my times doing push-ups on the PT test, I, um, I basically track how well I'm doing at that one minute mark. So the last official Army Reserves PT test I did, I got 101 push-ups. And I think I was right at 74 or 75. It was like right on that line of seven, let's just say 74 push-ups in one minute, okay? So I know next time whenever I go to do a PT test, if I want to get to that 100, 100 push-up mark in two minutes, I need to be at or above that 74 to 75 push-ups uh, count at one minute. So for you, if you are you know, trying to max out at 60 push-ups, right? So you're not going to be able to max out the total thing at like 72 push-ups, 75 push-ups, whatever you guys are at. Um, you're going to be wanting to look at something somewhere in the ballpark of around 40, 35 to 40 push-ups in that first minute, right? The way that this is going to help you is it is going to give you guys a just set way to track your progress towards that two minutes of push-ups. So let's say you do 40 push-ups in a minute today, next week you do 42 push-ups in a minute, the next week after that you do 46 push-ups in a minute, the next week after that you do 50 push-ups a minute. Even if you haven't tested your two minute time, you know for a fact that your two minute uh, count of push-ups is going to be higher than before. So that one minute of push-ups, that count that you're gonna be doing that is not fully fatiguing you, but that mindset, you know where you're at, it's really good to track that, to do it on a regular basis, you know, like I said, at least three to five times a week. Just track it continuously, write down some notes or something, and you'll be well on your way to maxing out the PT test. The final tip for you guys on maxing out your push-ups or improving your push-ups for the PT test is to, guess what guys, guess what? Do more push-ups, okay? Do more push-ups, do more volume of push-ups. It's, again, I say it all the time, some things are just, I feel like, super self-explanatory. It should be just really common sense, but do more push-ups. So let's say your goal for today is to do 100 push-ups, okay? Do a couple sets of 25. Do a couple sets of 10 or 10 sets of 10. Do whatever you have to do to reach that 100 push-ups. Don't worry about your maximum amount of push-ups. Don't worry about whatever. If you're at a beginner level, just go for that number. So go for that, I wanna get 100 push-ups. Go for that, I wanna get 200 push-ups. Get that number and then week by week, increase that number. And when you're increasing that number, you're gonna be doing bigger sets. So let's say to reach 100 push-ups, you wanna do 10 sets of 10, okay? Well, after a little while, you're gonna be doing a couple sets of 15. Then you're gonna be doing set five sets of 20. Then you're gonna be doing four sets of 25. Then you're gonna be doing two sets of 50 right so being able to track that you're tracking your progress you're increasing the volume that you're doing push-ups so you'll increase the 100 push-ups in a day to 200 push-ups in a day to 300 push-ups in a day to 400 push-ups in a day and you might be like holy crap how am i going to do this split it up okay i'm not telling you guys to do 400 push-ups 
in one workout. That is difficult. Even for me, it is difficult to do 400 push-ups in a workout. I'll do 100 push-ups in a workout. I might do 200 push-ups in a workout. But I, what I like to do is if I'm trying to hit a number, 400 push-ups, 500 push-ups in a day, I'll do basically sets of 100 push-ups throughout the day. But for some of you guys, you might be looking at, okay, I wanna do 200 push-ups today. Well, you might not be able to do as many push-ups as I can do, so you can do sets of 50 throughout the day. So four exercises, you can do sets of 50. Um, however you get to that number 50, just do that, and you'll see that the more push-ups you do, the more push-ups you're gonna be able to do. So if you guys can incorporate that first exercise that I told you guys about, which is the diamond grip push-ups, the close grip push-ups, the wide grip push-ups, as well as timing yourself. So a one minute exercise. So one minute of push-ups, how many push-ups can you can how many push-ups can you do? And then literally keep track of that. I want you guys to take a note, write down, okay, this is how many push-ups I did in a minute today. This is how many push-ups I'm gonna do tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. And then you're also gonna to wanna to increase the overall volume of push-ups. So with that 60 seconds of push-ups, with that triple exercise, you can count those push-ups for the day. So if you did all those, maybe you'll reach 100 push-ups just with those three exercises. Um, so there's your 100 push-ups for the day. Well then, you know, later on in the day, you can do another 100 push-ups, and boom, you fit 200 push-ups. And then before you know it, you're gonna be hitting 300. And it'll be a piece of cake for you guys to max out the PT test. I'm telling you guys, super, it's, it's um, super simple, super easy. It's not very complicated, but it's hard to do, right? So it's hard for people to just every day do something ritually, like before you go to bed, as soon as you wake up, do something. It's hard for people to do that, but if you can do it, if you can do those exercises that I said on a regular basis, three to five times a week, if you can test yourself in a minute of push-ups, if you can do that, if you can increase the volume of push-ups you're doing every day, your push-ups when it comes down, when it comes time for you to do the PT test, it's you're not even gonna be worried about it. You're not even gonna be worried, you're like, I'm gonna be fine. A lot of people are worried about maxing out the push-ups, a lot of people worry about getting the minimum. If you do this stuff, if you have a lot of time before you leave for basic training, you're gonna be fine. One more thing that I wanted to throw in on this video at the end of this video, and that is addressing something that I see some of you guys asking, and that is what about like weightlifting stuff? So what about doing bench press or dumbbell bench press or whatever, doing like weight, bodybuilding exercises? Shouldn't I do this to help me with my push-ups? Yes and no, right? So some of the people who I've seen do the most push-ups ever have been super lightweight, can't bench worth 100 pounds or anything, right? Other people that can bench 300, 400 pounds can't even max out the PT test for push-ups. So your bench max does not really correlate with your amount of push-ups you can do. Now, if you can bench 300 pounds, odds are you can at least do pretty well on the PT test for push-ups. But just because you can't bench 300 pounds does not mean that you can't easily max out the push-ups. So don't worry about that muscular training, right? So don't worry about, you know, I gotta rep out a whole bunch of the gym now. If you wanna do lightweight exercises, so like see how many times you can bench press, for me like 135 pounds, let's see how many times I can bench press this, 30, 40, 50 times or whatever. Um, that's something you can do, but I wouldn't stress about that. The main thing here, guys, is do push-ups, do more push-ups, do a lot more push-ups, and you'll be fine. So that's it for this video. If you guys missed my last video on push-ups in the proper APFT push-up exercise form, then you guys can check that video out. I should link that up somewhere here on one of these cards uh, if I can remember to do that because I'm very forgetful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, that would be awesome. If it did, hit that like button. Comment any question you guys have down below, just anything physical, fitness related, anything, whatever. Comment your questions down below. You can also you know, send me a message on Instagram or Snapchat. Um, and if you wanna stick around for some more of my fitness videos or just army related videos, you can do that. I think the next one I'm gonna do is give you guys some tips on running and how you guys can improve your run and just a few little tweaks that you might wanna incorporate into your run whenever you're doing that. I think a few of these little tweaks will help you guys out just a little bit with your run. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Drop.